How do you clean around clutter? It's a great question. I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. I know, hurry for me. If you go to askahousecleaner.com, right there in the corner is a blue button. And if you click on that, you can send your message to me here at the show. Somebody called in and they asked this question. Hi, Angela. I was just wondering, I'm starting a new business and I was looking to find out about cluttering. You're doing your first walkthrough and there's a lot of clutter. How do you address that? How do you clean around it? Do you have a discussion with possibly having a different type of cleaning service? The first client that I went to had a lot of clutter stuff on top of the refrigerator, things on the countertops. There wasn't a surface that was clear. So I just don't know how to address that and how to approach the client without offending the client. I love this question, and I love the fact that you are really sensitive to how the customer might feel when you address the issue of clutter in their home. It is a sensitive issue. We don't want to tell people their homes are cluttered. They already know. It would be like if we went to the gym and we hired a professional trainer to help us get in shape. We don't need him to tell us we're out of shape. We know that. That's why we're there. So the reason you're at a customer's house is because they know they have an issue with clutter and they're looking for hope. They're looking for solutions. So when you go to a customer's house, how do you frame that so you don't hurt their feelings? What you might do is you might have a package that cleans up clutter. Savvy Cleaner, which is the training program that I have for house cleaners and maids worldwide, we have a program called the Mommy's Helper Program. Very popular program. What you do is you show up at a customer's house first thing in the morning and you come five days a week. And you're only there 45 minutes to one hour each time. And you don't do any cleaning at all. All you do is do pickup. You walk through the house and you pick up toys, shoes, clothes, backpacks, schoolwork, things that have been left around the house, dishes, garbage, whatever. And then you do a reset of the house. You make the beds, you pick up the towels from the morning shower, then you go to the kitchen and you put away all the breakfast food, you wipe off the kitchen counters, you take all the dishes out of the dishwasher, then you take the dishes out of the sink and you put those inside the dishwasher, and then you go to the laundry and you take out the dry laundry that you put in yesterday and you fold that and put that away. You take all the dirty laundry from the hampers and you put those inside the washing machine when you first get there. And then before you leave, you take it out of the washing machine, put it in the dryer, set the dryer, and you leave. You're not cleaning anything. You're just tidying up. And then once a week, you come back on a different package, a maintenance cleaning package, where you scour out the sinks and the toilets and the tubs and you sweep and mop the floors and you wipe down all the fingerprints off the doors and the high touch areas and all that stuff. There's a mommy's helper package, which does the tidying up, and there's a maintenance cleaning package. The customer can choose which one suits their lifestyle, and they might even choose both because you kind of need both because you can't clean if the house is all chaotic and has fallen apart. If you offer this service, it makes the whole process a lot easier because then it lets the customer off the hook for having to clean up before you get there. And if they don't want to pay for the mommy's helper package, you might want to say there's a difference between daily and weekly chores. If you're only wanting to pay for weekly chores, here's what we have to do to get the house ready so that when I come in, I can actually do the weekly chores. So that's the way to approach it and then let the customer decide what fits their budget and what they're willing to do in order to make the best usable workaround situation for them. All right, if you have questions about the difference between daily chores, weekly chores, maintenance chores, deep cleaning, move in, move out cleaning, special packages, all that stuff, come join us over at SavvyCleaner.com. We now have the world's largest training program for house cleaners and maids, and we've certified more house cleaners than any other company on the planet. I will leave links in the show notes so you can learn more about that. I will also leave links up here to a playlist that will help streamline the process if you're just getting started in the cleaning business. And by the way, Congratulations on your new business. I'm super excited for you and I hope that you keep me posted. I wanna hear about every step of the journey. There's nobody on the planet that is more excited about house cleaners than me. All right, until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.